Stan Jabalisco here from the Black Hills of South Dakota, United States of America. We're looking right now at a radar image centered on Rapid City, South Dakota. Right there at the center of that ellipse, actually the radar set, <clears throat> right about between the D and the C right there, or right about where that Interstate 90 sign is. And speaking of Interstate 90, anybody driving along Interstate 90 between Sturgis and Rapid City right now might want to take heed of these thunderstorm boxes, thunderstorm warning boxes. They indicate a very small, it looks like a, just a little blip on the radar, doesn't it? Well, there's golf ball-sized hail in that blip. Uh, we're having a forecast now. There's another warning up there in northeastern Wyoming. These warnings are going to be popping up for the next 24 to 36 hours, almost continuously in this region, as climate change exacts its toll on the Black Hills. A little bit of a snark there. See what's coming over here? I've got to get ready for the possibility of a power failure. Uh, at any time now for the next 36 hours in addition to a flash flood watch which has been issued there is the uh, velocity loop that this other one here is the reflectivity loop this is the velocity loop now that will indicate whether or not there's the kind of turbulence that a, might result in a tornado and I see no such indication on this display I think our main risk here um, in Leeds, South Dakota, in central Lawrence County, right about where that little hand is, uh, the main risk here is going to be flooding. Probably my basement will get some water in it. The other night we had a little storm like this produced two inches of rain in ten minutes. <clears throat> and uh, needless to say, that's a lot of rain for a relatively dry place like this. You see where the red and the green converge right there? Green means precipitation particles moving towards the radar set red away from the radar set and the radar set right there at the sea of rapid city where the red and the green converge of course they converge because that's where the particles would pass over looks like kind of a southeasterly to northwesterly flow there see if we can get any feel for the movement of the storms well that's more or less from the west southwest to the east northeast so uh, we do have wind shear here, which is one of the ingredients for producing hail. And that little tiny thing there, that little tiny echo, producing golf ball sized hail. So just because something looks small on the radar, especially in a place like the Black Hills of South Dakota, that doesn't mean it's not harmless. I'm sure glad I'm not. That doesn't mean that it is harmless, I should say. I am glad that I am not driving along there right now. Stan Jibalisco signing off. Till the next hailstorm. If I if we have a hailstorm here, I'll sure as heck make a video of it for you. So long. <laughs>